Good morning, family. This is Ricky, and welcome to Hope for Today. Thanks so much for tuning in to our daily Devo. It's Wednesday, so we're going to get over the hump today, talking about God's grand vision of discipleship, how God wants to change the world, and your role there. And yesterday, we started off with chapter 2, verse 1. Paul says, I'm an apostle, and we talked about the power of identity and how if you're ever struggling with understanding who you are, you simply remind yourself of whose you are. I, I want to look at verse 1 again. Paul says, I'm an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God, according to the promise of the life that is in Christ Jesus. I think often when Paul would refer to himself as an apostle, I, I like to imagine that he was really doing that not so much for the people, sure it was for them, but more so for himself, to remind himself of what it means to be accepted by Jesus, called out by Jesus and that you can move forward in your life with confidence as long as the call of Jesus is on your life. Paul's on execution row. He's in a 20-foot hole. He's about to be executed. And I think it was important for his soul to remind himself that even in a hole and even in uh, adversity and even in impending negative circumstances, I still got a calling on my life and I get to be a witness and I get to be a mom and I get to be a dad and I get to be a pastor. I get to be a businessman on fire for Jesus. And sometimes, friend, you just got to remind yourself whose you are and who you are. And I think Paul's doing this when he says, I'm an apostle. Three things about Paul referring himself, referring to himself as an apostle. It would have meant three things. One, that he belongs to God. Two, it would have meant that he's been sent by God. And then three, it would have meant that any power or influence he has came from God. That's the beauty of knowing who you are. That's the, the secret as to understanding what it means that you're not your own and bought with a price and that Jesus has his hand on your life. Is that when the world disagrees and when adversities come against you, you get to remind yourself, nope, there's a calling of God on my life, which means I belong to God, that I've been sent by God, that any influence, anything impressive about me, uh-uh, it didn't come from me. It came from God. That's hope for today. I'll see you next time.